The purpose of Google Photos is to collect all of your photos and videos in one place, and that is your Google account in the cloud. If you take all your photos with phones, then all you have to do is use the Google Photos app. You use the iOS app on your Apple iPhone and the Android app on your Android phone. You install the app, you turn on backup, and voila, every photo you take with your phone gets copied to the cloud in your Google account. But what if you also have lots of photos from years past on your computer, on the hard drive, or maybe even on an external hard drive or thumb drives? How do you get those up to the same place? You can do it manually, and that's fine if you only have a few folders. But if you have thousands, then you want it to be an automatic process. Up until now, you had to use a software called Google Drive for Desktop, and it was kind of complicated. So I am just thrilled that there is a new feature now with Google Photos on the web where you do not need Drive for Desktop. It's so easy. It's just called Backup Folder. I'm Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and I'm going to show you how to use Backup Folder. In order to demonstrate this, I'm going to use a fake account. It's our imaginary friend, Danny Demo. So here I am at a web browser, Google Chrome, and I am signed in to Danny's account, and I go to Google Photos. So now I am looking at the cloud, at the Google Photos account in the cloud with all of Danny's photos. And he doesn't have very many. This is it. Just a few photos scanning the years from, from 2019 back to 1997. I don't need to use any special software now. As long as I know what folder on my computer that the photos are in, all I have to do is click this plus and then choose backup folders. Now I have to find the folder. It's on this PC, my local C drive, but as I say, this could be on an external drive, anything that you have access to on your computer, users, and Danny's pictures. So actually, I don't even need to go down into it. I just leave it at Danny's pictures and select folder. Now I have to give it permission to view the files. And that's all there is to it. It's starting to back up all of the subfolders beneath Danny's pictures. So all you have to do is put photos in that folder and they will get automatically backed up to your Google Photos. There weren't that many, it says 134 items. Let's take a look. Here's some pictures from Italy. So there was an Italy folder, Alaska and Fiji. So all of these were automatically uploaded. Now I want to show you one more thing. I'm going to go back out to the folders and show you Danny's photos, Danny's pictures, and here were the folders that got uploaded. Now there's another folder that wasn't inside that of wedding photos. All I have to do is drag wedding photos into Danny's pictures folder and now when I go back to Google Photos, those will be uploading as well. And that's all you have to do. The, wet, the photos that were in the wedding folder that you just added to Danny's Pictures folder were automatically uploaded. From now on, anything that you put into that folder gets automatically uploaded to your Google Photos. However, there is one thing though that you should know. There were several folders within Danny's photos, right? There are no, it does not maintain that folder structure. There are no folders in Google Photos and it did not automatically make albums. If I click on albums, we only have three albums, National Parks, Chris and Jim, and episode 
265. There is no wedding album. There is no Fiji album, etc. There is another video that will show you how to do that. I'm referring to Geeks on Tour tutorial video number 710. We'll show you how to make folders and turn them into albums in Google Photos. But I hope you agree that this is a wonderfully easy way to get photos from your computer to your Google Photos so that all of your photos are in one place.